This playthrough is rated T for teen. Is Barry old enough to play shuffleboard? Or is he going to play shuffleboard with some zombies? Greetings and salutations. Viewers, Vaughn back here with another episode of Resident Evil Gaiden. In the last episode, Barry star was working for this organization, found a boat. Uh, well, he sent to this boat to find Leon and S. Kennedy from the previous game. And apparently, well, something's going on here. B.O.W.s and all that other stuff. So let's continue on. Now, what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to go to the elevator here after unlocking it. However, after we open that elevator, we actually unlock the bottom uh, door right here, which is also an elevator. The reason I want to go through this way is so I can fight less zombies or avoid one of them just to save on ammo. I don't have to, but I want to. Anyway, if we hit this part, we go, whoops, wrong button. We go to the third level here, um, and this will get us to the, uh, those stairs up there will get us to the next area. Let's see if I can pass them. Yay, all right. Um, yeah, the sound's glitching in again. But uh, oh, anyway, we find a little info thing here. You may use your target uh, targeting system to detect any hostiles. Once your targeting is activated, you can aim at any hostiles you meet. Well, I've already figured that out, game. I don't know why you're telling me that now out of all things, but... The site will indicate when a hostile is in range. Yeah, I know this already. Deactivate the target system once a hostile is in range to activate the system. Basically hold the button down, highlight the monster, let go of the button. Once in a battle, fire your weapon when the target is aligned with a hostile to heavy hit. Remember that your weapon are, weapons are less effective at greater distances. I thought we had this one before, but anyway, let's uh, fight this zombie right here. Come on. I'm trying to hit him without activating. Because as soon as that zombie appears on screen, it's considered an enemy for the purposes of, of attacking me, so... I gotta get better at hitting crits, which is the inside thing, mainly because there's gonna be some enemies uh, sooner or later that if I don't, I'll take a ton of damage. So, maybe we get more handgun ammo. I guess it doesn't matter. You can go up or down. All takes us to the next area, which is the uh, fourth floor, this, uh, the seat deck. So, anyway, there's a zombie over here. We got new zombies as well. There's zombies with crew bars. What are they, like, villains? Or not villains, uh, you know. Uh, I was trying to think uh, thugs or something like that. Man, I'm doing really bad at like hitting hitting him in the dead center. So the security room will probably be locked. I may need a key for it. All right. Well, yeah, that happens as soon as you step outside. But anyway, I get an herbal compound here. I don't know if that's always going to be the drop for certain zombies. It might be. But we want to go up this way. But I want to check the rest of this deck first before we do. I think there's a couple items here, if I recall. There you got another info doc. Be on the lookout for armor. Equip yourself with the armor you find to protect yourself. The armor, the stronger the armor, the less damage you will suffer when you are hit in battle. Remember, useful items such as armor may be left around the ship by the crew and passengers. Look out for these items, and you'll always watch for your alert icon. Um, yeah, I actually know where it is, so let's go find it right now. So, at least one of the items. Oh, we got a crowbar zombie with something on him. Yeah, they'll do a decent amount of damage if you let them, but uh, as long as you hit them before they get to you, like at all times. There we go. All right, what do you got? Shotgun shells. Nice. I'll need those here pretty soon. All right, now you don't have anything. And, oh, yeah, there's another zombie. I'm going to have to distract him because what I want is above that uh, chair. Uh, that uh, uh, Not chair. Uh, well, it is a chair, but it's a... Uh... Well, anyway, it's here. So, yeah, we get some armor. This is light combat armor that will help reduce, uh, reduce inflicted damage. <coughs> Oh, excuse me. So we go into our inventory, and we, yeah, we see Kevlar. So let's go and oh, let's actually info it. Oh, right. Uh, anyway, let's use it, and we now have an armor symbol on our character. So we'll take re uh, significantly reduced damage if we get smacked by things, which is nice. Uh, I do want to heal here pretty soon as well. I don't think this uh, now one way. Um, let's see. I don't remember where every single zombie spot is. But I do know generally where I need to go, so. Um, and no hidden zombies this way. Okay, I, I thought this guy had an item. Usually I avoid going this direction for the next area, mainly because you fight a bunch of zombies that are pointless because they don't have any items on them, and it gets you to the same area either way. Yeah, more bullets. Nice. Oh, and he's alive. Great. Yeah, sometimes that'll happen with enemies with, uh, with items. Sometimes they just won't die. So we're just going to ignore him. Yeah, you can go down south this way to go to the next area, as you can see on the map. There's that bottom area part with the yellow block. We can get there from the other side, though. But yeah, none of these uh, monsters or monsters, none of these zombies have any uh, items, so we're gonna skip that way. And yeah, the zombies that you hit, that you knock down, and they still crawl around. As long as you leave off screen for a few 
few moments, you'll be able to uh, just avoid them and uh, not have to waste your ammo fighting them again. So, yeah, we're getting a lot of uh, glitchy sound effects because he's supposed to be going, ooh. But, uh, yeah, sometimes it just it will stop working for whatever reason. I thought I was decently far away from uh, this guy, but either way. All right, what do you got? The security card is used to gain access to the security room on the fourth floor, which we're supposed to get to, so let's head on over there, which is in the next area. It should be, I was about to say, there should be another zombie. I don't have to avoid all these guys. I probably... Ah! Oh, well, fine. I try... I, I'm basically just trying to save ammo. Uh, I do that in all Resident Evils, even if I don't actually need to. Anyway, if we go over here, go to the second area of the fourth floor deck. Technically, the pool area, so there's quite a few enemies here. Anyway, if we check this over here, we get a rope. Or the cabinet or whatever. This rope is strong enough to hold the weight of any full-grown man. And, uh, yeah, these are deck chairs. I was trying to think of the name for a second, but anyway, if we go in here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we can grab this, but unfortunately we can't grab it now. It's grenade uh, ammo, but we'll be back later. I'll have to re remember that for later, viewers. And we got a zombie in there. And if that zombie activates, actually, as soon as this zombie activates, the second one, if we attack it, we'll, uh, we'll randomly appear, well, I don't know, say randomly. They'll appear off screen and attack you, so you'll get attacked by two people sometimes. I guess it didn't happen this time. When I was playtesting this, it, uh, a zombie appeared right behind me while I was being attacked by her. So, I don't know. It must be random or something like that. Or maybe you have to be standing in a very specific spot. But anyway, we find some blue herb. Uh, the herbal compound will cancel out a poisonous infection, so when you fight the female zombies. So, let's, uh go back. I, I want to make sure to have one of those. Alright, we'll just... Unfortunately, I have to either fight her or get her to uh, chase after her so I can run around her just because of where she's at. Okay. Let's see. This room... Okay, this room we want to use the security key so we can actually go inside. Oh! Woo! Alright. Now we're in the actual security room. Alright, I think there's... I was trying to see if there's any other things we can grab. No, I guess not. Okay. There's a dead man in here. Now, let's check this out. Hmm, what can I do with this hunk of junk? Barry searches through the switches on the controls con control console to activate it. Wait a minute, this doesn't look like one of those creatures. Hey, listen up, can you hear me? Leon, is that you? Huh? You know Leon? Who are you? I'm Special Agent Barry Burton. I'm a friend of Leon's. I'm Lucia. Leon went off to find the horrible monster that's turning everyone into into zombies. Leon rescued me and told me to wait here until he gets back. Where is Leon right now? I don't know. He left here ages ago. I'm scared. I keep hearing noises. Oh no, you have to help me. I think it's that monster banging on the door. He's here. Please help me. Don't panic. Calm down. Just tell me where you are on the sun deck. Hurry, the door isn't going to hold much longer. Hold on, I'm on my way. Alright, let's head on out. And if we head on out the door here, we unlock a save point. So I'm going to save on save 2, even though I don't really need to. Well, there's a reason why it saves here, but I thought I just heard a scream. It seems to be coming from the east. Yeah, that's usually how it is with most things. Now, uh, yeah, there's the pool. Unfortunately, we can't actually get into the pool. Oh, well. And this takes us back to the other area where the zombies are. As you can see there, there's three. And let's see, I think there's a couple of... Yeah, I was about to say there's a couple of marked zombies for the purposes of items. Ha. All right, what do you got? More bullets? Excellent. I don't think this zombie up ahead has any bullets either. There's a couple up on the northern part of this area I need to get so I can kill some of the zombies and have them drop some stuff. So let's see if we can get, get around her. Come on, baby, let's dance. Dance, baby, dance. Yeah, man. Yeah, there we go. Wow, the sound, the sound keeps cracking when it keeps trying to... Uh... There's that scream again. This time I know it's Lucia. She must be really close. Unfortunately, I don't actually have the key for this. We'll get that here in a second as we go up this path. We could have gone this way, but I, I was trying to remember if there was any zombies the other way that. I think Actually, I think she has the, uh, the bar key, if I remember correctly. Yeah, not enough time to fa fight me, dude. Are you? Herbal compound will restore medium damage. Never mind, it's the next zombie. 
I could have started as her, but uh, I don't remember if it was the old zombie's drop rate. Oops. There we go. Yeah, just a crit and a regular shot is usually enough. Maybe we get more bullets. Ah, dang it. I keep thinking I know which one is the, uh, the uh, zombie that has the bar key, which gets us in the next area. Whoops. Oh, well. I don't mind losing an extra bullet. Anyway, this key is used to gain access to the bar room on fourth floor. All right, I think that's it for all the zombies I can kill for items. Take a quick... Yeah, we're back where we are, so... All right, we're good here, so let's continue on. And all the zombies clear out. Thank you for whoever's clearing out zombie bodies at this time of the night. I think this game technically takes place within a couple of hours or something like that, if I remember correctly, so... Anyway, we want to use the bar room key to get through this room here. Whoops. No! Ah! Dang it. I was trying to, like, push the button to get past her before hopefully she doesn't hit me and... Oh, I crit her. Uh, I was about to say, hopefully she doesn't um, hit me and poison me. You know what I mean? Let's see. I think... I thought there was supposed to be a zombie in here with, with an item. Maybe I missed... Yeah, I thought so. Ooh. Let's try going around this way. Maybe we can... Oh, there, there we go. I'm getting kind of lucky with the zombies not hitting me. Yeah, the crossbow, oh, crossbow, crowbar, oh, back up, back up, okay, whew. Uh, yeah, the crowbar zombies are a bit more durable than uh, than their other counterparts, so, okay, I don't think there's anything else in here. If I miss an item, it's usually just ammo, so nothing to worry about, so. And I think there's some items up here, you could skip these if you want, but. Yeah, I'll go and fight this guy just because. I'll have to fight a zombie anyway, and he might be in the general vicinity. I guess the next area that has an item in it. A yeah, more herbal compound. Yeah, you don't have anything, but... Yeah, it'll probably be hard to uh, dodge you, so I'm just going to fight you. And I've gotten quite a bit of ammo from uh, fighting everything, so... Oh, there's the there's one of the few times where the game will uh, surprise you with a zombie all of a sudden. Like, they'll come up from behind. No, it looks like I fought the zombie before he... Uh, before the other guy got into view. Now he's getting into view, so... Oh! Ah, dang it. Oof. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, I wasted some ammo on that guy, but... Oh, well. Anyway, we got shotgun shells, and we also get... Medium armor. This medium strength armor will help reduce... Uh, reduce inflicted damage, so... Very nice. Yeah, you can see it there. It's titanium ammo, so... But we'll uh, leave it for now, but uh, yeah, we definitely, definitely will help. Actually, it probably could be useful for what's coming up ahead, I guess, but. All right, I don't think there's any items on this area, if I recall. Uh, yeah, you, well, too late now. Sorry, I don't remember. I didn't remember exactly what was there, so, which is nothing. And then we got a couple of doors we can't go through just yet, so. And a dead body. I can hear Lucia. She's on the other side of the door. Now, before you do this other side of the door, I strongly suggest you heal yourself if you've got any green herb left. So let's do that. And then I want to quit the shotgun because I want something powerful for what I'm about to fight because we will take damage. There's, like, no way around this, so. I think I'm good with the health I am. This guy does damage, but he doesn't do that much damage. Okay, let's do it. Barry reaches the sun deck. From the edge of the shadows, uh, he can see something hideous and large chasing Lucia. Help me! Keep it away from me! If that's the B.O.W., this is my lucky day. Looks like Tyrant, or an early version of Mr. X, even though this game came out after Resident Evil 2, so... Yeah, it's basically Mr. X. Sweet mother of... I spoke too soon. Ah, get it off me! Alright, well, let's prepare to fight, uh, Tyrant. Yeah, I think that's his technical term for a fight for this, so... Anyway, yeah, he, uh... Okay, yeah, we want to try and crit him if we can. Which, I'm already doing a very bad job. There we go. Whew, actually, we did without any damage. Nice. Usually, I take a hit from this guy, so... Uh, which, it would have hit me down to, to yellow, but it wouldn't have done that much damage, but anyway... Uh, the B.O.W. dissolves into an amoeba-like form. 
Then it disappears rapidly into the shadows. That thing just vanished. I'm glad it was finally gone. It was horrible. Are you hurt? Let me see your arm. What the? Not a scratch. I could have sworn he'd hurt you. I, I, I was lucky, wasn't I? Uh, yeah, I guess you were. But let's not rush, uh, push that luck, okay? Stay close to, to the, that thing. Might still be around. No, he's gone. Uh, what makes you so sure of that? I, I don't know. I just feel it. Uh, right. What is this? Something wrong? No, nothing. Come on, let's go find Leon. But anyway, she's now a new party member, so we can switch to her if we want by pressing the uh, B button. Uh, yeah, don't choose the girl, because Leon uh, Barry is the best character in the game, bar none. I mean, seriously, stat-wise, and what he can do, there's no reason to switch to uh, Lucia and the other character. And you probably have a pretty good idea who the final party member is, but I won't spoil it for those who haven't already figured it out. So, anyway, if we check over here. The herbal compound will restore medium damage. All right. And the bullets. More bullets. Yeah, I didn't use that many. Well, I used more shotgun bullets than I would have liked. But yeah, anytime you fight a uh, a boss character, always equip a stronger weapon, whether it be the shotgun or whatever. Do not do not fight a boss with a handgun. That is not very highly suggested. Actually, I think I can avoid this room. In this room, there is a couple of zombies, but there's some grenade ammo. Um, actually, there, maybe I'm... I could have swore there was... Maybe one of these rooms have a item I want to grab. I think it's the top one, but... Yeah, let's go ahead and fight this thing anyway. Just to show it off. I will come back here later. Oh yeah, we get some new music too. After uh, saving Lucia. But yeah, I will not... I will not be using Lucia um, at all. Yeah, see the grenade ammo there. And... I think that's it, actually. Okay. I guess this was the room I could have avoided. Oh well. Well, remember that for later, that if we want some grenade ammo, we can run all the way back here, so. For the most part, any area that, unless I have to really go out of my way, I'll probably ignore doing that on screen, I mean, so. I could swear there was an item on the back corner of this room. Maybe maybe it's another room I'm remembering. Maybe it's the other corner. Because one of these areas has an item in the corner of the room. Right. Oh, maybe it's this. The key is used to operate the, a set of elevators in the center of the ship, so, all right. Hmm. Yeah, I could swear there was a room where there was an item in the corner. Maybe that was another room, or maybe I skipped it by accident. I don't, I don't remember. But anyway, these guys don't have anything, so we can skip them, so. Let's get out of here. All right, well, it looks like Luce, uh, we've, so we saved the girl Lucia and beat the first tyrant, and it uh, looks like he won't be of a, much of a threat. But, what other th threats will we fight in here? Will we be able to fight Leon? And can we really get some sun on this on this dang ship? We'll find out next time in the next episode of Resident Evil Gaiden. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.